Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest fully upgraded vehicles in the GTA Online compact class in terms of top speed. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the top speed the vehicle achieved in the top right, and for this 2020 series I'll be showcasing the non-raceable vehicles first. So even though for example the Arena ISI is in the compact class and has the highest top speed overall, since it can't be used in regular compact races, it's not going to be included in the main list. We start the regular raceable vehicles list with the Dilettante in 11th place overall. This video only focuses on straight line performance, so if you're interested in racing where braking, cornering and acceleration are all relevant, check the link in the description for the lap time testing series, and if you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all vehicles and is correct as of this Los Santos Summer Special update. For any compact cars added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to support this work and get testing results of any new cars a little bit early. So the, as we saw the Arena ISI was in first place for non-raceable vehicles for the compact class because it's the only non-raceable compact in the game and it does have a pretty decent top speed of 124 miles per hour but again that's only because it gets the boost that arena war vehicles can get arena war vehicles get the option as a modification for basically a, a nitrous boost which allows them to reach much higher speeds in terms of both acceleration and top speed so you know it, it's good since we've started this 2020 series uh to remove the non-raceable vehicles because obviously the arena issy shouldn't be thought of as, as uh, comparing with any of these other, let's say, normal compacts. So the compact class when it comes to top speed probably has the biggest difference in comparison to what we saw from lap time, where we've got cars that were quite high up in terms of lap time being fairly low down in terms of top speed. A good example of that is the Brioso, which it's not low down, you know, it's still making its way into the top five for top speed. But for being so high in and so dominant in terms of lap time, it, it actually has a pretty mediocre top speed and there are certainly slower cars in terms of lap time that beat it. And this is showing once again how little really top speed matters in any given racing situation when there's even more than just a few corners. Top speed doesn't really make that much difference. It's all about acceleration, braking, traction abilities in the corners. But as always, it's good to know the actual full top speeds for these cars under proper scientific circumstances. So fourth place for the AC here, doing not too badly there for a, you know, a classic vehicle from back in 2013 with a top speed of 104.3. And in general, the top speeds of a lot of these compact cars after the Dilettante all the way up to our third place vehicle of the Blister are actually really, really close together. 104.5 miles per hour for the Blister. Again, another 2013 original compact car where there was only four when the game first came out doing very well to still be in that top three spot but then the top two vehicles are relatively new vehicles and they've both kind of pushed the game along a little bit in terms of the compacts class and the top speeds that it can reach so in second place we've got the brother of the blister the blister kanjo actually not the the first brother of the blister that would be the blister compact which is still in the sport class and isn't as quick as these these uh, compact cars but yeah the, the blister kanjo came along and took the top spot for compacts when it came to top speed with a top speed of 109.3 fairly dominant you know that's a five mile per hour top speed difference over the regular blister in second place but it didn't last very long in the number one spot because as probably a surprise to nobody the bf club is now the new number one with a top speed of 112.5 miles per hour. At this point, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for regular lap time and top speed testing videos and updates when new cars are released and check out other classes in the playlist. But yeah, 112.5 miles per hour, absolutely dominant. Once again, not only as we saw in the lap time testing video is the club dominant around a track, it's also dominant in terms of top speed. You'll see in the comparison between it and the Blister Kanjo that that basically three mile per hour difference does give it the edge, but then you've got to consider that, you know, when you're comparing it to, for example, the Brioso, that's almost a 10 mile per hour difference in terms of top speed. So the Blister Kanjo is, you know, 
it, it's not too bad for top speed, but it still gets beaten. But it's 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 worse around a track than something like a Brioso, which basically the club has the best of everything. It's got the best top speed. It's got the best lap time. It's the most expensive vehicle because, of course, once again, Rockstar have added something that is the most expensive to be the best in the class. Now, just to point out that even though it was for lap time, this doesn't make the club the quickest front wheel drive car for top speed in the game. That still falls to the Segoy. Uh, actually, the Pagali, that's still the Pagali in the Sports Classic class. That has the highest top speed of any front wheel drive car in the game. But uh, yeah, when it comes to just the compact class, nothing beats the club at this point. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.